You're very welcome as you join us for our service of Compline as the sun sets here on Sleeve Fall. As we sit and reflect in the beauty of God's creation, uh, later during the service we will travel over to St. Catherine's in Fina uh, to hear some music. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. As we quieten our hearts, we take a journey now to the beautiful church of St. Catherine's in Fina to listen to a piece of music uh, by Jane, the wonderful and much loved hymn, The Old Rugged Cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering. But I love that dear cross the dearest and best To a world of lost sinners Will sleep So I cherish That old rugged cross Till my trophies At last I lay down I will clear comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to stumble. He who watches over you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. It is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Amen. If you're following our service of Compline in the prayer book, which is on uh, page 158, we come now to um, the hymn, Before the Ending of the Day. You may, if you like, sing it at home, but we're going to just read the words through here together. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that thou with wanted love would keep thy watch around us while we sleep. O oh, let no evil dreams be near, or phantoms of the night appear. Our ghostly enemy restrain, 
lest aught of sin our body stain. Almighty Father, hear our cry, through Jesus Christ, our Lord Most High, who with the Holy Ghost and Thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep me as the apple of an eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. I wonder, have you ever thought, I'm sure we all have at times, is God really there? Does he care about me? Is he listening to me? We're going to go back to St. Catherine's Church now to listen to a song that um, Jane not only wrote um, but sings herself. <laughs> song. There are times in all our lives when we wonder if God is really listening, if he's really there for us. But that doesn't change the fact that God is there. And that is why we reach out to one another in support and when we are low we can pray for one another, help each other and lift one another up. God never leaves us or forsakes us. And however you're feeling tonight, God is with you. He does care for you. And we are praying for you. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Sometimes if we're feeling low, it helps to read God's word and to read our beliefs aloud. We continue as we say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. We say together the first two collects on page 161. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pause for a moment to offer our own private prayers this evening. We bring before God how we are feeling and the things that are on our hearts. Lord, I pray for all those who are watching this this evening. Lord, you know exactly what's going on in their hearts and lives this day. Pray that you will draw near to each one. Cause each one to know that they are loved and cared for by you. That you never leave them or forsake them. And cause them too, Lord, to know that they are part of your community of God's people. We also love and care for them. So, Lord, grant your peace of mind and heart. And as we pray, Lord, we join with one another, our brothers and sisters, both near and across the world, as we pray the prayer our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The, the almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. We pause for a moment at the end of this evening as we confess our sins before God. We say together, we confess to Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that we have sinned in thought and word and deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins. Deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness. And bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we come to the close of our service this evening, we trust that you have been blessed and found God's presence going near to you wherever you have been watching from. We come now to our closing sentences. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. 
for it is thou, Lord, only that makest dwell in safety. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may he bless and preserve us this night, and all those we love forevermore. Where is